Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Cassandra's Garden. This is Cassandra. Good morning, good morning, good morning. So, I got a few things that I wanted to show you. Yes, I got paint brushes. These are specifically for food only, for painting on food. So, if you're a crafter, you know your paint brushes for painting and food and other crafts remain separate. So, these are from my kitchen. And I'm glad that they're pink. That's way, that way, I always know pink goes in the kitchen. <laughs> and look what I got. I got an offset spatula. But it's actually called an angled spatula for helping smooth my cakes a little bit more. I didn't want to get a huge one because I've never used an angled spatula before. So I wanted to just kind of get a feel for it before I go larger. So I wanted to show you that. And I got another mermaid tail mold. This is really for fondant. It's not for candy. But I've made it happen. And I'm going to tell you guys and gals something. I cannot stand fondant. I think it's gross. I think it's terrible. And I, I just don't really want to put it on my cakes. I want my cakes to be so delicious and moist and just so flavorful. And honestly, nobody really likes fondant. I used to think to myself, what is the purpose of decorating a cake if people don't really want to eat it? Um, and then, you know, you got your hands all over it. People's got their hands all over it. And it's just so gross. And I just, I'm just like, ugh. I just, I, I, I can't deal with it. So this is why I'm doing the candy, I guess you would call them in beds, for my cake that I'm making for my granddaughter for her 13th birthday. Now, I have already done some, and I just wanted you to take a look at that. There's a blue seashell, and this is, this is, starts with a C. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, and there's a starfish that I made. And I'm going to show you the recipe that I have come up with. I'm going to just set all these on the plate and just kind of get them out of my way and let them just dry out. Um, I wanted to tell you what my recipe is to making these so intricate and having success because when I first started doing this, I had no success and that was uh, 24 hours ago. <laughs> I learned really quick. Um, this is really wet. See, they... they even though you take them out of the molds, they're still kind of wet, and you just, you have to let them dry out. That's why it is imperative that if you're going to make these type of end beds for cupcakes or cakes, that you really should do them days ahead of time, because it takes days to get it done. Okay, so I'm going to show y'all how I, how I've been doing this, and as you can see, I have my paintbrush. I, I, pro I figured my Q-tip method was probably grossing some of you out. So. <laughs> All right, let me let me show you what I got. I got two of these. They come two in a pack. <clears throat> Excuse me. And it has a very tiny opening. I'm going to be using this to make my um, chocolate-covered strawberries to make my lines a little bit more professional. I have blue all over me, so just please look over that. Now, let me show you. These also come in handy getting the uh, mic the candy mixture into these intricate designs, and ha that's how I make my mermaid tail so beautiful. Bear with me one moment. I'll be right back. i got to fill this up. So, um, I wanted to give you the ratio that I have come up with to successfully getting my candy mixture to cooperate. And it, it you know, a lot of people, I, I found out that I'm not the only one that's, now you have to, have to that, has, that has had this trouble. And, and see how I'm doing that? And my ratio is 12 ounces of, 12 ounces of, of candy uh, melts to six tablespoons of vegetable shortening and it has to be the solid nothing else will do you have to kind of angle this a certain way for it to come out I know that sounds crazy but that's just the way the 
physics of this thing is made. Then I just tap down. I just wanted to show you my little trick here in case any of you wanted to make a cake like this. Now see how good and thick it's already getting? That is what you want. I did a method and got it too runny and it never firmed up. I had to put it in the freezer and then even in the freezer it didn't firm up very well. But lesson learned. So my recipe is 12 ounces of candy melts to, I would start out with four tablespoons of vegetable shortening just to be on the safe side. And if you, if it's still too thick, then add just two more, but don't go past six tablespoons of vegetable shortening. And you can use the vegetable shortening of your choice. Okay, so I've got to get that little part for the tail. There we go. Perf. Now, what I do is I let these sit all day long and overnight. Now, that's just not... Is that thick enough? Is that enough in there? Let's see. Yeah, that's perfect. Now, let me... Bear with me just one moment, please. I'm going to put just a tad bit more up here. Bear with me just one moment, please. Just a moment of your time, please. All right, bear with me just one moment. I'll explain what I'm doing with my little fish tail. Excuse me, I meant to say mermaid tail. Now, I have already got up early this morning and put this in, in there, and it's already firming up. See that? Now, I'm going to let these two mermaid tails sit on my table... I've got a piece of paper towel down, and I've got my mermaid tails uh, with the candy in them. I better get to work. Or this is going to firm up. Um, I got uh, the mermaid tails sitting there. They're going to sit there till in the morning. Then in the morning, I'm going to put them in the freezer for 20 minutes. Now, I have watched other YouTube videos of myself on how to, you know, remedy the... Um, and the recipe to getting the candy melts to cooperate. And nobody had this kind of recipe that I'm giving you. Uh, I think some people just don't really want to give all their secrets. Um, you know, I don't make a living doing this. So I don't care. I will give you all the secrets that I've come up with. And I found that if you do it early, the, early in the morning... Make these candy melts early in the morning. Let them sit all day. After they get hard, cover them up with a clean paper towel. Let them sit in a, a area that is cool. Then the next morning, get up and put them in the freezer for 20 minutes. You are going to have great success. Because these candy melts, making these candy melts in beds is a lot trickier then I thought, I thought, oh, all I got to do is melt them, put them in a mold. Oh, no, honey. <laughs> there is a science to this. So I wanted to demonstrate for you exactly how I have done it. I, I'm going to be getting a hot plate so that I can bring it over here when I'm cooking stuff or melting stuff. And that way I can show you from beginning to end. How's everybody doing this morning? This is called, it, it starts with a C. It's a certain type of shell that's, now bear with me one moment. I got to put some more in this, okay? I'll be right back. Wyatt, are you ready to go to the park today? Do you want to go to the park and walk? Do some walking while the dishwasher's going and the washer and dryer's going, huh? We got to go to the grocery store today. We're going to make pasta primavera. We're going to um, start it with these pinto beans, and I'm going to get some chow chow. It's going to be delicious. So, I talked to my granddaughter last night, guys and gals. And so, I was going to fix party food. You know, it's a, it's a birthday party, right? And I was going to fix party food. 
Oh, no. No, ma'am. No, sir. You know what she wants me to make her for her birthday? My lemon pepper chicken. And I'm going to be making a video and showing you the lemon pepper chicken. She wants, she wants a dinner. Uh, she's 13. She's very, very high class. And, you know, I'm so proud of her. She's super intelligent for her age. But she absolutely loves my lemon pepper chicken. And she doesn't want, like, a regular party. She wants a dinner party. So I said, well, you got it. She said, I want my cake, Grandma. I'm excited about my cake. She said, but, and she wants the chocolate-covered strawberries, but she wants a dinner party. And so, uh, she doesn't even want ice cream at her birthday party. She says, I eat ice cream all the time. I don't want ice cream. I'm like, what? So, she wants me to make my lemon pepper chicken and asparagus and i make mine really different than anybody else and i really make it good i'm gonna make a video and show you how i make mine and she wants uh of course homemade mashed potatoes and my famous yeast rolls that i will be making a video and showing you how i make that you got to angle this a certain way let's see Sometimes it just does that. It's not stopped up. You just got to angle it a certain way. It's just the physics of this. There we go. And um, so that's what she wants for her birthday. So that's what I'm making her. And I'm going to show all of you how I make my lemon pepper chicken. And my son told me, he said, Mama, I have had lemon pepper chicken my whole life. He said, I've went out to fancy restaurants. He said, I've went to other people's houses, and they've made it. And he said, I have never had lemon pepper chicken as good as yours. And he said, I'm not saying it because you're my mom. He said, God, help me. It's the truth. And I mean, you know, <clears throat> there's something about my kids that I will tell you. They got great taste in food. So, and I guess they get that from their mom because um, when I was a single mother, see, if you do it just like that, it's not going to come out. You have to angle it a certain way. But bear with me. I'll be right back, guys and gals. i got to add a little bit more to this. That's what the problem is. I'll be right back. So anyway, when I was a single mother, I was determined I was not going to raise my children on McDonald's. That was just not going to happen with me. There we go. And um, I'm glad that I did that because they turned out healthy and strong and uh, smart. And my son loves to cook and my daughter loves to cook. Uh, she actually made dinner for us last night. She didn't come over here and eat with us. She uh, was doing her own thing, but she wanted to do something sweet for me. And she used one of my recipes for my uh, sauce recipe, my noodles and sauce recipe. And um, <clears throat> my son, it was so delicious. My son could not believe that she actually made it. He said, I don't believe it. I said, Summer made this. I, I said, I'm not joking. She made it. I don't know why it does this. You have to... You have to angle it a certain way, and then it will come out. And see, I'll show you. It's not stopped up. It's so weird how this does that. It's all in the physics. Yeah, it's not stopped up. Just got to do it a certain way, I guess. There we go. No. Maybe I just need to add more to it. Okay, I'm sorry, guys and gals. It's not a very big... Um, it's not very big, but it comes in so handy. Give, give me one second. Alrighty, just a few more. Now, what the reason that I'm doing this too is because this is going to sit all day. Once it gets hard, um... <laughs> I don't know if I can even say that word. Uh, I, hope that, I hope nobody takes that in the wrong context. But uh, anyway, you know how people are. People want to make a mountain out of molehill on, on the Internet. And um, 
So anyway, I'm just double checking and making sure that this thing is not, yeah, it's not stopped up. Come on, you. So anyway, uh, my son could not believe that my daughter actually made uh, dinner last night. It was that good. It, I mean, she did a phenomenal job. And uh, y'all know what I'm going to do here. I'm going to get my second one that I've had soaking just to make sure that this one isn't stopped up. I've got a second one here because it comes in a pack of two. So um, that's what we'll do. We'll just try this one. I've had this one soaking because these are not dishwasher safe. Uh, the bottles are not. So I just, I want to keep, I always want to keep this with my bottles and never get them separated or lost. So just for good measure, let's just make sure. Okay, there we go. I guess my, uh, my little uh, nozzle was stopped up a little. That's okay. We, we took care of it. <clears throat> but um, that's how I do it. And again, <clears throat> well, it was doing fine. There we go. Um, and again, it's 12 ounces of candy melts to six tablespoons of <clears throat> vegetable shortening. And that is how you do it. And then you just put them in these bottles and yesterday they did a whole lot better. And you can see, see that, see the little opening? Can you see that? It's not stopped up. Wait a minute. There we go. See the little opening? It's real tiny. See, it's not stopped up. It's just, you have to angle this a certain way. It's just the physics of it. That that's going to drive you crazy. Um, and then if you angle it this way that, that it wants you to, <laughs> it's so crazy. Um... You're going to love these, but <clears throat> as you can see, you saw how I did all these, and that's how you do it, <clears throat> and I would much rather use it with the nozzle, but if I have to, I'll just do that. There we go, but I would much rather use the nozzle. I'm going to actually get some more of those so that I'll have plenty, and if I have to keep changing the nozzles, I will. Um, the, the tips, I call it a nozzle. I'm so old-fashioned. I accidentally messed this one up really bad, but I'm still going to try to save it. <clears throat> so, but for my intricate mermaid tails, I definitely use my no my tips with these. And it could also be that the candy melts are really getting hard. And that makes me happy uh, in a sense because, honestly, I got my candy melts way too soft earlier and they would not shape up. So, bear with me one moment. i got to put some more candy in here. I just really like using my tips because I, it gets in there really fast and it really just helps you. It just ensures that you are getting into those intricate designs. And once again, you can see, let me show you. See that little opening? It's real tiny. It's not stopped up, but I'm going to try it again. Um... I think it's the mixture just has to be really, really hot. There, see, see how that's doing. I love that. It, to me, it just makes life easier, and I can control control it better. There we go. You gotta you gotta hold it a certain way. It's it's so weird, but it, if, after you hold it that certain way, look at I just made a mess. Um, it just makes. It just makes everything so much easier. Let's try it. But you saw how, if you just hold it that one certain way, and like I said, I like doing it that way because I feel like I have more control over these the intricate designs and I don't overfill. And so that's what I love about uh, the t using those tips. Because I hate overfilling and getting it everywhere, you know. And just like right here, I just made a terrible mess. But anyway, that's how I do, that's, that is what I discovered. Now I'm going to gently, boop, tap that down. I'm going to sit all this over there with my mermaid tails. And they're going to all sit 
all day until tomorrow. And as you can see, I've used, I don't know if you can see it that good, but I've used every bit of my candy melt, so I, none is wasted. There's no more over here on the stove. I've completely uh, drained my bowl, and I use a double boiler. I tried the method with um, microwaving it, and it literally burst and burnt. And I, I followed the, the directions precisely, and it still burnt. Bear with me one second. I'm just going to put this over on my kitchen table. And then if you do what, if you follow my regimen, this is the outcome. That's the outcome. They're beautiful. Uh, they will have, they will take several days to dry because they're still going to be a little wet. Um, but it will work. And then as you, like, again, I did get my paintbrush and I'm just going to paint. Paint, paint, paint. Just add a little shimmer to each one, not too much. And then if I feel like I get too much, I just take a clean paintbrush and I just go over it. You know, I can't wait for y'all to see what this cake is going to look like. It is really going to be beautiful. And I am basically self-teaching myself <laughs> how to decorate cakes and what type of instruments to get and what type of tools that I need to get and trial and error because I can't go to culinary school. I don't have the funds to do that. And so I'm just going to teach myself. And I think sometimes that is a really good method, but never underestimate the power of education. I wish I could go to culinary school and not to be a chef, but just to make awesome things for my family, you know. Just don't want to put too much. I just wanted to give that a little sheen. But anyway, that I just wanted to show you all my little regimen and my recipe for the candy melts because I did notice a lot of people have trouble with these. And I was determined I was going to use in beds. I don't want to use fondant. Fondant just... Ugh, ugh. Ooh, just the word makes me want to barf. So, peace and love. I love all you guys and gals. I'll be back tomorrow, and I'm going to show you what the mermaid tails look like. They're, these are blue. I got one teal one. I got two blue ones. And I'm going to do a white one and a brown one. I think that'll be really pretty. And the brown one, it tastes like salted caramel. <laughs> so, peace and love, everybody. And I'll give you some more tips and tricks. And I got more awesome uh, videos coming your way. And uh, this is, again, Food Safe Paint. That's the color. It is called Metallic Light Gold. You can just look up stuff online and get that. And I just go to uh, the store to get my candy melts or I order them online as well. I'll give you more um, tips and tricks and advice if you would like that. I think this one turned out really, really pretty. I really like the way that turned out. Okay, my time's up. I love you guys and gals. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.